that kind of, as I say, it set the tone. Yeah. It set the tone of um, what we knew our educational path was going to be like. What are you doing? I love you. I love you too. You don't know what kind of a parent you're going to be. The minute she was born and she was put on my stomach, I thought, fine, I'm okay. This is the nicest, nicest spirit I have ever met, and we're going to be fine. And then, you know, the, the diagnosis of Down syndrome came later, and later that day, and, you know, it, you, you sort of get what you get, and you go from there. What about PS89 was really special? Um, PS89 is pretty special. It was special to me. I have lots of friends there. I have Michaela and Bobby. And, oh yeah, my, my, my sister Ashley. And um, she goes to Amora Street and walk back in my school. And, and What about your talent show? Oh yeah, the talent show was, was awesome. One of the things that PS89 had was this inclusion program where kids, it's a sort of, it's a 60%, 40% mixture of students, 40% special needs kids, 60% regular needs kids, and they would all be in class together. But growing up from little tiny kids, they were just kids first. And you know, you don't really start to, you see, you experience acceptance rather than seeing difference. Children, children really see only friends. So I felt like the diversity of, you know, a whole mixture of kids in the classroom was really important. Um, that's what life looks like. And I felt the fairest thing to do from the beginning of time was to, you know, make a small model of life and go through it and see, you know, you're going to run into what you're going to run into. Your obstacles are going to be there. And, but, you know, the great, the great sides of things are going to be there as well. There's some things that are totally different because they're, for us, like now we're working into the high school thing. And for a lot of families, there's this whole complete panic about where they're going to go to high school and what they're going to do and are they going to have these tests and are they going to get out at Harvard and is their life planned out for like the rest of it and do they have to be like number one in the United States for like until they're dead. And this is not my concern. My concern is growing up confident, having decent manners, having a great sense of humor, having a good time, and having good friends. And honestly, I feel like it's unfortunate that's, that that's not what every other kid gets to worry about. I was given the luck of this amazingly wonderful, kind, loving person. And I, I, I'm, it's kind of pretty sure that I'm going to have obstacles, but I would have had them anyway. I don't get to think about what 18 looks like because I have to get to 18 to see what it looks like. So I don't ever go into the future. I'm always right here. I'm lucky to have had her in this particular period of I'm time. I'm lucky too. In... Thank you. I I'm very lucky too with my mom, and I'm so excited. Yeah, I guess we are pretty lucky, huh? Yes, mom. Yeah, you're pretty awesome. Thanks, mom.